Alright guys, finally got the first day of the fish, first fish of the day out of this pit. He's about three quarters of a pound on the suicide shad watermelon red flake. It's a start. We are battling once again. Guys, it appears as if I hooked into a big old channel cat trying to catch bluegill. It's my guess, because he's doing circle after circle after circle. Yes, it is. Not bad. Boy, this is hard to hard to catch on six pound line. Have the baby. Okay, hold on. have to wear him down. You might want to just get your thing out for a minute. It's not as big as the one I caught at Celine, but it's pretty decent. He just ain't getting tired. <laughs> Look at that. God. Holy cow, man. It's been a catfish weekend, hasn't it? The whole thing, the everywhere we went, we had nice catfish on all on accident. The creek and then at Kevin's and now here. I would horse them in if I didn't have crappie line on here. That's you have to understand, I got six pound line. He'll get tired. He'll eventually just give out. Not a bad catfish at all. He's probably three, about three pounds. Oh man, what a nice catfish, guys. Indeed. And barely hooked, look at that. Took it out myself in a matter of one second. Do not move for a little bit, okay, honey? Try not to do any jolt, sudden moves. Guys, this is a nice strip pit channel cat right here. He's trying to catch bluegill. Yeah, he's right at three pounds. This is the exact perfect eating size right here. That is a, if I was gonna eat one, this would be the size I'd want, right at three pounds, right before they lose their spots, but still have them. What a channel cat, man. What a, look at that, hun. Nice. He just splashed me and the camera big time. That guy was not lying, guys. He said there was some giant bluegill in here. That is without a doubt the biggest one we have ever caught. That thing is bloated. Unfortunately, it swallowed the hook, didn't it? That thing is, look how thick it is. It's like Thai, the ones Thai Pig Patrol catches. Yeah, he does. Show that belly, though. That Probably thing is thick. Probably it's a bird. Hold it up for us. That is a, a big bluegill. We can get that hook back, too. Guys, it really ain't that long. 
it's nine inches but that thing is it looks like it's eight a hundred crickets or something that's the fattest one I've ever seen oh my god come on show us that thing is bloated guys all right just show the regular fish now yeah all right hold the regular fish up now Zoom. That is an absolute tank. Okay, let go of its tail. Let go of its tail. God, that is giant, man. What a jumbo bluegill. Gosh. You know what I wish we had? Corn. Because the bass would leave the corn alone and only bluegill would bite it. I doubt it. That is a big old bluegill. That's a regular bluegill. It wasn't even hard to get out. Oh my gosh, guys. That's your personal best bluegill, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, it is. All right, guys, Wilma got her personal best bluegill. Wow. What a bloated little thing, man. I can't get one, though. It ain't biting. What was that? Holy cow. That had to be a catfish. That's the only thing it could have been that is a giant catfish. Whoa, I got one. Oh, man. Let me anchor. Let me anchor. Guys, these bluegill, these are regular bluegill, are ginormous. Talk about monsters. There's some nice bluegill in here. It's only six foot deep right here. Guys, my camera shot off and I didn't know. I just caught one of the biggest green sunfish I've caught in probably three years. It's a big and what an absolute beauty. It's starting to get those male black stripes on it. He's got a weird indention too. That's a cool catch. Nonetheless. What a nice catch, guys. Wow. That's big for that kind. Look at his fins on the bottom. Black and orange. that was man 